what's up youtubers another morning and uh, i want to present you the amazing theodore yaris the amazing yeah you can fit those things in it well it sticks out a little bit but yeah the entire piece came in to the theodore yaris so i have more in there these are like eight foot long but this this car can build me anything i could i, I think i could build a house with this car so yeah the amazing toyota yaris it can do anything it can haul trailers it can go adventure riding you could do everything with it um that being said a little bit of change of plans this piece was a little bit too long so i'm going to use it on top i just bought all the covering for the trailer 129 dollars with screws and everything or well, 260 screws i hope it's going to be enough so we'll see how's it going to work out uh, project goes ahead so this one's gonna go on top and all those eight foot pieces is gonna go on the side I'll have to straighten them out so I have to take the corrugation out a little bit out of it so I'm not sure exactly what kind of a contraption I'm gonna build for it but before anything I have to turn my swamp cooler on because it's just so freaking hot in Vegas and they just go from there Okay, quick update. I was uh, trying to go against the corrugations, right? So I flattened this piece as much as I can, but then I realized that it's really not working as good as I thought it will. So I might have to change the plan, because I know it will make this piece a little bit longer if I go against each one of these. But how much is really going to help? I don't know, and maybe I want the corrugation. Maybe I want this extra strength that the corrugation built in. Okay, so there's no going back now. And too far into the project, I've decided I'm not gonna go against the corrugation. I'm gonna go in the corrugation, so it's gonna be corrugated. Um, this part, I'm gonna fill it up with uh, some foam from the inside so dirt and dust doesn't go in. Everything is running pretty smooth. Uh, I'm having a hard time putting these screws in because I didn't get the self-tapping one. I thought it was going to be worse, but then these are not great either. So I'm going to go with these for this side and the next box I'm going to get the self-tapping. Here's the problem though. I don't know how good the camera angle can see. So where it's bending over here, there is a little bit of a crashes over here. Uh, luckily, I'm not a perfectionist. Actually, uh, perfectionist is far from, from me, so <laughs> that I don't really, really care, but uh, the, the angle is working out pretty good and I'm actually very happy with it. I'm glad that I went with an 8 foot piece because here, as you can see, if I had to cut the other one, it would have been a pain in the ass. Uh, this way I could just work around it. So, uh, yeah, it's already shaping up, that's, that's for sure. I'm having a little bit of a problem over here, but nothing that I cannot fix because the front piece is going to go around it so the water doesn't go in. So, first piece is in. I'm going to turn around the trailer. I'm going to put the other piece on the other side and then basically go from there. But uh, as I said, I'm too far in it to turn back. Uh, project $200 plus already, maybe $210. So I don't wanna go over 250. And I know there's a couple of things that I still wanna do to it. So uh, I'm not, I haven't decided if I'm gonna go on the other side, or I'm just gonna go with the next piece over here. That's, uh, that's gonna be a surprise. So stay subscribed because uh, it's gonna be subscribed. So that's gonna be the next phase.